Hi guys and welcome to my new channel. We all know that uh, game developers try to release their products as quickly as possible. But once a new game comes out, uh, it's not always stable and bug free. Right after release, uh, developers usually roll out updates to fix various issues and these updates come out frequently. So if uh, someone creates a patch to fix the game launch on a MacBook, they don't uh, always manage to update it in time to work with the latest version of the game. A good example is the recently released game Until Dawn. In this video I'll show you how to patch the game yourself uh, so it's run on MacBook without having to wait uh, for someone to provide uh, an updated file. A special thanks to the Reddit usage Sarko who figured out how to do this and uh, provide a brief guide. You can check out his post via the link in the description of this video. Uh, first of all, you need to install a hex editor. I'll be using a hex fiend. Download it from the website. And install it by dragging into the application folder. Then open it, uh, click file, open file and navigate to your games folder. For the Steam version of the game, it can be found at the location you see on the screen. Look for a file named Bates Win64 Shipping. Of course, you can follow the instructions posted on Reddit and search for a string of bytes, but I prefer to search for more human readable word. Copy the word system supports AVX2, click Edit, Find, and paste it into the Find field. You will see one match. Our task is to swap the two variables is main menu or their hill and system supports AVX2. Copy the second word and paste it into the replace field. Click on replace button. Now let's replace is main menu word. Make sure the first match is highlighted. Click replace. And now we can save the edited file. Go to the location of the file and rename both the original and the patched file. That's all that needed to be done, and now we can check if the game launches.
You can also download the already patched version 1.5 file from the link I'll leave in the video descriptions. Thanks everyone and see you in the next videos.